Hi, welcome back to my YouTube tutorial. This is BBM Graphics. Yes, my today my voice is down because of too much work on me. So I just want to listen very carefully and just understand my voice today. Yes, today I just want to show you uh, how to design a church flyer. And yes, um, that's it. I don't have to talk much today. My voice is down. Sorry for that. So the first thing we just need to go to our Photoshop uh, software. Then we create a new document. Then I want to use uh, ex uh, international paper. This thing, so I'll call it Church Flyer. Okay. Then I'll click. Okay. I don't want it a uh, portrait. I want a landscape. So I'll come to image. Then go to what is the name? Image rotation. Then I'll click 90 clockwise to have it like this. Yes, so that is how I want it to be. So, first of all, let me just work with my background. I have a piece over there. So, I'll go to file and I'll come and place a link. I've downloaded this holding cross praying uh, from a site. Just one search on Google, you get it. So, I'll just import it in. Okay. So that is how it will look like. I love it. So I'll transform it like this. Then I'll move it in. It's okay. Then I'll click OK. Then I'll have it like that. It's okay for me. So the next thing I have to do is to bring in another distant lens flare image over here then i'll transform that one to like that then i'll have like this a way of creating background so i'll ch change this normal to screen to have this when you change the screen this one you have then i'll create uh, a gradient over that then i'll choose this one then I'll make this one black this way. Then I'll make this one uh, red. Okay. Then I'll draw face it. Then I'll make this one, let me see, zero. To have something like that. Okay. Then I'll change that one to, to multiply. Okay, let me change it to let me soft. Okay okay let me change it to soft light i want it to be in soft light then another color i'll just bring it in that's the kind of pink color then i'll change that one to soft color you see that fine so right now i can call this one as my background you know i don't need to put my things on it and i guess this thing i'll call it background okay then I'll click OK. Then I'll have it like this. So the next now what I'm going to do is to import in the pastor picture. I'm working with this particular pastor. Yes, pastor Shambak, Reverend Pastor Shambak. Then I'll have it over here. Then I'll transform it like this over here. That's okay. So this is I'm just doing it like that. So I'll come and open uh, the information that the pastor has given out to me. So this is the church name. So I'll copy it. Then I'll come and paste it over there. Okay. So let's have that. okay so just come up then our oh, 36 let me see 36 is too big so i'll make it somewhere 30 is okay 
where the background will still make some changes to it, but let's just work with this before then we finalize it. So presence, then you paste. Okay. Then you come back again. This is the title. This is the title. So let me leave that one for now. And let me work with this. I'll pick dates. Then I'll come and paste it over here. Like this. Then I'll have it somewhere here. Then what I'll do is to create a distance to fit in in that particular distance like this. Then I'll change the color to uh, this one. That's yellow. It's okay for me. Then I'll move in these ones like this. So I'll have something like that. Shape a rounded distance. Then I'll change the color to what? To black. Change the color to black like this. Then I'll make it uh, semi bold. Then make it semi bold like that. Uh, I want to make it so that it won't be so distant. Okay. So I'll have something like this. Then I'll copy it, that particular, this one. I'll copy it. Then I'll move it in like this. Then what I'll do, I'll come and click here. Then I'll close the field, then I'll add uh, I'll add a stroke to it. Then let me make the stroke 10, I guess. 10. 10 is too small, right? Okay, let me see, make it 20. Okay. So 20 is okay for me. Then I'll come and copy it the time. Okay. Then I'll come and paste the time over there. And I'll make it this color. And I'll move it in there. Okay. So, um, it's so simple to do such a thing. Just that you just need to be consistent. Everything you need to do, you have to practice. Then I'll have it like that. Then I'll have the view over here. Then I'll come and pick for more details okay then I'll come and paste it over here this one is sected so paragraph and I'll change it to left right then I'll reduce the size by 16 let's say 18 it's okay then I'll have something like this then I'll come to rectangular this thing then I'll come to custom sheet then I'll come and pick this particular uh, what is the name? this particular icon. Then I'll draw I'll just put it in like that. Then I'll make the color white to show up very well. So let's make something over here. Okay. Let me make it 20 size to be 20. And this one, I'll make it small. I don't want it to be too distant. Let's say 10. Okay. So we we'll have something like that. Then I'll have like this. So you can save it. As you are doing, always save. I entreat you to save so that your work will not go in vain. Okay. So. This one, I'll click over here, the TT, make it capitals, then I'll make it bold, okay, I'll make it bold, uh, then uh, let me change it to 24, to have it over here, then I'll change the font to some stylish font, I'll use Amarillo, okay. So, Amara Peter uh, pre presents. Okay. So, let me have this. You see that? So, gradually we are coming to the end of the listing. So, the next thing I have to work with is Pastor Shambak. 
so then I'll put it here so I'll come and click on rectangular then I'll draw something over there like that then I'll have it over here then what should I do I have to I have to come to edit go to free transform then I'll right click then I'll go to uh, skew so then for the skew I'll hold I'll hold control and skew it this way this way it's okay for me then I'll click OK then I'll duplicate that particular layer duplicate it then I'll change it to yellow then this layer which is black I'll move it out like this then I'll come and put in I'll paste the shambak name there uh, reverend past the shambak then I'll change it then I'll move it in over there okay then I'll change the color to black let's say black is over here change it to black so then I'll move it in and I'll make it bold for it to stand out yes okay so we are just getting to the end of the listing for the title you can work with it in the first case but i just want to finish with this kind of thing that i'll work with the title so for this i've done half of the game so let me come with thursday solution hour so i'll just copy it thursday this is how i want it you can also do it how you want it so i'll have thursday solution over here for now let me make the color this and see that it has appeared very well then i'll come over and pick hour the hour i'll make it a very big one like this i'll increase it by this way this way then i'll have it like this then i'll make this one 75 so that you go into each other like that okay so i'll paste it oh sorry i'll just save it so the next thing i have to do is to let this one come up more okay you get that so the alignment is important in any kind of design so let me see something over here so the next thing i have to do is to get to is to come to a uh, custom shape then i'll look for a clock 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 we can get a clock here okay if you cannot get a clock over here then you need to uh, you need to download it yes i can get a clock clock here okay clock is here so i'll come and have it over there so it's, i'll make it come over here then i'll come back and pick a list to then I'll let it cover. Then I'll change the color to this. Then this particular this then I'll make it bigger like this. So I'll have it sorry. Make this one bigger so that I'll make it fit in over here. So I'll save, always save as we are doing. So we are just getting to the end of the listing. So I'll pick this particular one, then I'll come to FX, then I'll go to bevel and embossment. It's, I don't, normally I don't use bevel and embossment too much, but I just want to make it.
is soft small then I'll bring it up like this then I'll come and add some drop shadow like this drop some shadow on it so come and add some stroke add some stroke to it actually I don't, I don't have to get some big stroke that will waste my energy let me make it time okay make it time then I'll have it something like that so after that I'll save but right now let's come away with the background over here so now I just want to reduce this particular background image so that it won't come out very clear and they will get to know it where that is has come up to so let me come okay let me change this one to normal so that I can reduce it okay I get that yes so this one screen it does to appear screen and to appear so I'll move it out like this then the hand over there let me bring it up so that it will appear very well for me so right now that is how I want the background to be so I make this one goes down then the hand come up but I reduce it you can still reduce it so that it will just appear more like that yes so past the chamber can be here then okay so let's have our design like this so okay so I left one one logo. I didn't add logo, so you can put the logo over here. That's the church logo. Yes. So this is a simple way to make a church flyer in Photoshop. Very easy. It's about creating the background, getting your layout very good, and that's all. Thank you very much for watching. This is EBM Graphics. Bye bye. You can comment, share, and let everyone hear it but please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel bye bye